mastering ergonomics considerations. We're courting disaster if we don't rethink our outdated approach to workplace safety. Why do we need to evaluate our current methods for identifying and mitigating ergonomic hazards in our workplace, and what strategies are we employing to ensure a safe and healthy work environment for our employees? Evaluating current methods for identifying and mitigating ergonomic hazards is crucial in the workplace because it enables organizations to assess the effectiveness of their existing strategies and make necessary improvements to prevent work-related musculoskeletal disorders WMSDs, and other injuries. The significance of ergonomic hazard evaluation lies in its ability to promote a safe and healthy work environment, reduce workers' compensation claims, and minimize productivity losses resulting from employee absenteeism and turnover. To ensure a safe and healthy work environment, organizations must employ a combination of strategies that encompass ergonomic hazard identification, risk assessment, and control measures. The following strategies are essential for mitigating ergonomic hazards. 1. Conduct regular ergonomic risk assessments. Regular risk assessments help identify and prioritize ergonomic hazards in the workplace. These assessments should involve a thorough review of workstations, tasks, and processes to identify potential ergonomic hazards. This includes observing workers performing their tasks, reviewing injury and illness records, and soliciting feedback from employees. 2. Implement ergonomic job hazard analysis. A job hazard analysis JHA, is a systematic approach to identifying and controlling ergonomic hazards associated with specific jobs or tasks. JHA involves breaking down tasks into individual steps, identifying potential hazards, and developing controls to mitigate or eliminate these hazards. 3. Provide ergonomic training and education. Employee education and training are critical components of an effective ergonomic hazard mitigation strategy. Organizations should provide regular training on proper lifting techniques, ergonomics, and body mechanics to employees. This training should be tailored to specific job tasks and should include hands-on training and demonstrations. 4. Encourage active employee participation. Employee participation is essential in identifying and mitigating ergonomic hazards. Organizations should establish a system for reporting ergonomic hazards and near-miss incidents, and encourage employees to provide feedback on ergonomic concerns. 5. Implement engineering controls and design changes. Engineering controls and design changes are essential for mitigating ergonomic hazards. This includes modifying workstations, tools, and equipment to reduce the physical demands of tasks and minimize the risk of injury. Organizations should prioritize the implementation of ergonomic design principles in the design of new workspaces, equipment, and processes. 6. Conduct regular administrative controls. Administrative controls are essential for reducing the duration, frequency, or severity of tasks that pose ergonomic hazards. These controls may include rotating jobs, providing regular breaks, and implementing flexible work arrangements. 7. Monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of ergonomic interventions. Organizations should establish metrics to monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of ergonomic interventions. This includes tracking injury and illness rates, worker compensation claims, and employee feedback to identify areas for improvement and optimize ergonomic hazard mitigation strategies. 8. Foster a safety culture. A safety culture is essential for promoting a safe and healthy work environment. Organizations should foster a culture that encourages employee participation, accountability, and open communication regarding ergonomic hazards and safety concerns. 9. Develop a return-to-work program. Organizations should develop a return-to-work program that provides modified job duties, light-duty work, or alternative work arrangements for employees recovering from work-related injuries or illnesses. This program should be designed to facilitate a safe and successful return to work while minimizing the risk of re-injury. 10. Continuously monitor and update ergonomic strategies. Ergonomic hazards and mitigation strategies are not static, they evolve over time as new equipment, processes, and tasks are introduced. Organizations should continuously monitor and update their ergonomic strategies to ensure they remain effective and relevant.
In conclusion, evaluating current methods for identifying and mitigating ergonomic hazards is crucial for ensuring a safe and healthy work environment. By employing a combination of strategies, including ergonomic risk assessments, job hazard analysis, training, employee participation, engineering controls, administrative controls, monitoring, and a safety culture, organizations can minimize the risk of work-related injuries and illnesses, reduce workers' compensation claims, and improve overall productivity.